And I guess we should get to like the roast recap. I actually watched a great amount of it. I sort of trailed off once Ben Affleck came out and I just wasn't quite following it uh, as much, but incredible. And I think my takeaway is just what a win for Netflix to, you know, to do what they do so well and make it the biggest thing possible. It was a blockbuster night. It was A-list stars. The production quality was amazing. Watching it on my phone in a hotel room in Chicago was possible, easy, and actually really enjoyable. It was easy to find. I loved that Netflix, you know, delving into sports entertainment, one of these roasts, and they're going to do it more. I don't understand why they don't do it like once a week. I think would be my question. Like how, I would love to know what is the prep time? How long does it take these writers and comedians to get their shit together and put together their jokes, the roast, all of it? Because I, at this point, after last night, the ability to keep an entire nation, truly sports, entertainment, all of it together, like gripped by it uh, over three hours. Like it's literally Lord of the Rings volume one, two or three. It's, you know, just as long as what the Oscars would be, which people complained about, and nobody was complaining. It was more, more, give me more. Who else wants to talk? Um, that's hard to do. It is hard to find a collective thing to all meet around that isn't a sports game, that isn't game five, that isn't the Super Bowl. These roasts seem to be it. I know it used to be a thing on Comedy Central a lot, but why not do this more big win for Netflix, big win for comedy, coming together and saying, you know, then they kept saying in the beginning to make Brady more comfortable. He clearly said backstage, no fear, we're going to go for it. That was the vibe and the mentality. Um, and we saw that really all night long. I thought the other big, you know, I guess win was, you know, Tom Brady in this. And there's a lot being made of the Kraft and Belichick meeting on stage um, fostered by, you know, none other than Kevin Hart, who I thought did a brilliant job handling and juggling was a wild night, you know, Gronk, uh, you know, throwing shot glasses at the ground, like only Gronk could do. Um, and really like you could tell, uh, an active listener, Kevin Hart, like he was very present in the moment. Sometimes when you're hosting an event like that, you, you know, you go into the, into the wing and you're like, what's next, what's going on, what's, you know, give me the rundown talk in my ear, but he was coming up and riffing off jokes that were made. That is real time stuff. That is him knowing what's going on. And I thought he did such a great job at that. And then trying to bring, you know, craft and, and build together, which I don't know was plan, if it was planned or not, probably not. But I think all it made me think was not about how awkward it is and how, you know, devastating these relationships are or whatever. It's really all for Brady. I think it just talks about and is a testament to how much the people around Brady love Brady. Can you say he's a polarizing sports figure? Kind of like sure Jets fans or rings or Deflategate, which he handled so hilariously last night. But can you think of other goats and like what their deuses would look like, respectively, the greats of the world, you know, um, or they're villainized more than their beloved? Like those are his boys. They ride for him. Edelman, Gronk, Dola, um, all of the, you know, all, all of the peripherals, all of their Copen, Light, all, you know, anybody. Surprised Matt Castle wasn't there. He is so beloved, and for all the animosity between which exists, it's a real thing between, uh, you know, Bill and Tom and Kraft and Bill and all of that. Like for them to kind of come together. It's hard to do. It's hard to say, I'm going to go to a roast where I'm going to then be vulnerable. They're going to take shots at me all night. We're going to come take a shot. It's awkward. It's live TV. You're not, you know, like the Kim Kardashian coming and hugging Tom Brady. Like at the end, they didn't even show that. And I think that's because like, who wants that to be a moment on social? Nobody. We just want to be here and support Tom. But I did think Hamilton that it was sort of all made me just wow in Tom's favor of just, you are the greatest to ever do it. You are uh, the most special person I feel like for also being being this guy who everyone really adores and he's weird he's a weird guy like they were saying but he's he's really he's really beloved by all these people who have nothing but respect for him and I think that's like the win in all of this yeah and I, I have to be honest I was skeptical with as much as this was hyped up the attention it was getting you know I'll always go in with a little bit of skepticism but it's hard to have something like this that was built up this much that had so many prominent people involved actually, I feel like exceed the hype. Um, it was so funny, as you said, all these people coming together to support Tom, um, while also 
obviously <laughs> taking some shots at him, but but you're right. The outpouring of support there and the the reverence that everybody in that room had for him was, you know, it speaks volumes. Yeah, I thought that um, one, one great tweet I saw was that there was, I think it was a journalist, I wish I had his name, but that he kept trying to like translate and transcribe the jokes to like put them on Twitter as they were happening. Like, oh, that's so good. That's mm. so good. Or that's, what did that mean about deflategate or whatever? But every time he wanted to hit send, he was like, I can't send this. Like, this is a, a horrid, <laughs> like, this is so offensive. Like, what do you do? And so I thought that was like a perfect sort of summation of it, that it was like a live in the moment thing. But I really do believe like Netflix, as many as we can, like, let's have it yeah. go. Because- <laughs> That the, the amount of time Nikki Glazer just roasted everyone, just shut it down. That was amazing. I thought that was a huge highlight. And I think just bringing, bringing those people together for this ruthlessness is uh, it's like a sporting event. It's like must see for me to be captivated by something for longer, for me to go look for something to yeah. find it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I feel like everyone, you know, my my uh my hairstylist came in this morning and she's not a sports fan and she's like. I will, yeah, it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. So I think that was just a, a big win.